Hey everyone, this is Intense and um, I'm very, very worried about Ethiopia. We just had a few minutes ago a violent, this is how experts are describing it, a violent earthquake of magnitude 6.0 that has occurred in the central area of Ethiopia um, in the a wash region, Fentale volcano, Dolphin volcano. I have been following this for you for a while and now a 6.0. We've had earthquakes in the five ranges and higher five ranges, but 6.0, that would probably cause a lot of damage. And uh, it's close to Addis Ababa as well, so they probably have felt it as well. And there was a major magma intrusion underway since December. That's what experts are saying. Some were either from Fentale or the Dolphin Volcano. You've seen my previous videos where the, the steam comes out of the ground and the rocks are being spit out, phreatic explosions, cracks are opening up. So something has been going on. Over 100,000 people evacuated and affected by this, but there's still so many people in there. And if you think, oh, it's just rural, if, if you no, it's not. It's highly, highly densely populated. You can also see this on the maps. Everything that's gray, that's highly a densely populated population. And Addis Ababa is the capital of Ethiopia. And another problem, the main artery that connects the capital with the port area, that main highway is directly affected by this area where we have seen the rumbling and the cracks opening and the earthquakes and another problem the new railroad line which is also a major major economic factor for ethiopia that connects the port with addis ababa that is running parallel to this highway so how much damage did this do we've heard in the past the kesson dam even the grand renaissance dam they might be affected that's what experts said if there is an earthquake magnitude six or higher this could affect the stability of these dams. So we're waiting now for reports from Ethiopia. Look at that picture. This is where it's located. That's the epicenter. What the experts are saying, the mechanism that they're watching in their data has a clear signal that it's not related to tech. Tonics, um, which implies that it is of volcanic origin. And same thing right now, guys, follow my other videos. Something's happening at Santorini as well. It's nighttime. They can't see anything, but they hear a strange noise, a rumbling, and the, the seismometers are going crazy. It's a continuous rattling there. This video is in the end screen. This is crazy. And while I was preparing the other video, magnitude 6.0 in Ethiopia. There's also news about Ethiopia because now other countries started to help the people that were displaced by all this unrest. So they describe this as a strong and shallow earthquake. It was registered, you see it on the map here, near the Fentale volcano. And we've seen the Fentale, this mysterious clouds coming out that were seen on satellite pictures where they were thinking is there something going on is that volcanic gases coming out steam is there something brewing so the local time was um 11 28 pm and uh the depth is registered at 6.2 miles 10 kilometers so where the epicenter is, that's only 4.1 miles, that's 6.6 .6 kilometers north-northeast of Metahara. That's a town that also has a population of 23,500 people. And Oromia is also another town, um, 26 kilometers, 16 miles off Awash, population 11,500 in Afar in Ethiopia. And there's also reports coming in about people who have felt it. So roughly for now, um, 50,000 people are estimated to have felt a very strong shaking. 40,000 people report a strong shaking and roughly 150,000 people report a moderate shaking. You know, the population of this region resides in structures that are highly vulnerable to earthquake shaking. Um, there are some structures that are built to some codes, but the predominant vulnerable building types are basically rock buildings 
or like without code or permits like metal timber and stuff like this this is the constructions so the recent earthquakes that we've seen in this regions have already caused like secondary hazards such as landslides and we might expect that again um, that might have also contributed to significant losses of structures and building this is the strongest earthquake in this they also call it, like in Santorini, a seismovolcanic crisis, and that's affecting the region of Ethiopia basically since last December, December 22nd last year. And they are quite sure that these quakes are not tectonic, although we have tectonic plates in this region as well and fault lines. They think it's magma, magma movement in the Fentala volcanic complex within the main Ethiopian rift, where basically Ethiopia is being torn apart, similar to Iceland. Of course, that's when we have a lot of volcanoes there right now. And, and since that started, the government had already started to relocate residents from high risk areas to safer locations to mitigate the risks that um, are in place because of that. We have seen damages to homes, health centers, schools, roads, critical infrastructure, and also at least two people have been injured by this. So now I think we will see more damage. So in addition to that, and that's the scary part, we've also watched these fissures, these cracks in the ground that were rapidly expanding, getting longer and getting wider and as i just said all of that has raised concerns about the kesem sabure dam which holds a substantial amount of water but even as far there were structural engineers that said the grain renaissance dam that holds even way more water could be affected if there was an earthquake of magnitude six or higher and here it is so any 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 structural failure could result in catastrophic flooding downstream and affect other countries. It could endanger hundreds of thousands of lives. Um, and, and they say that Kessin Dam, for example, is engineered to withstand a 5.6 magnitude earthquake. So they weren't expecting these high earthquakes to ever happen in this area. And that's why authorities are worried. They don't want to declare this area a seismically active area with, with that many high level earthquakes or volcanic because this is a, a major economic hub with investments like that train route so this is not good at all so usually in that region there's a total of roughly 420 earthquakes with, that have a magnitude of four or above have struck within 300 kilometers that's 168 uh, miles uh, of Ethiopia in the past 10 years. So this comes down to a yearly average of 41 earthquakes per year and roughly three per month. So on average, an earthquake will hit near Ethiopia roughly every eight days, the whole country. Um, but a relatively high number occurred in Ethiopia already this year in 2025. So a total of 206 earthquakes above magnitude four were detected within 300 kilometers of Ethiopia in this year. And the strongest that we're seeing right now has a magnitude six. So you see the chart here. So it's definitely increasing significantly. And then I'm showing you a table here that shows the magnitude distribution. It visualizes all these earthquakes that have occurred within 300 kilometers of Ethiopia. So this is absolutely crazy. So the magnitude 6 is the strongest earthquake in 10 years. The last one was a 6.5 uh, that struck in 1906, but in a, in a little bit of a different area. So what I'm showing you now is the list of the earthquakes. So you see the 6.0, but it's been rumbling 4.4, 4.8, 4.6, 4.4, all in the fours, all in the high ranges of the fours. And also here, this constant rumbling is of course making everything more vulnerable, more brittle, so that it could eventually collapse. This is absolutely crazy, guys. I found a report that other countries have now helped Ethiopia with 200,000 euros. 
um, right now to help get food for the displaced people and to help get them water and, and basically essentials. I have a feeling, guys, that this is not nearly enough. I think these people probably need more help. So I will keep you updated about this because, you know, for a few months now, we're, we're reporting about this. We're watching this. We see this unfold, we see, we see this escalating. So this magnitude six, there'll probably be some aftershocks, but what's coming after that? Is that any indication that something is going to happen to Fentala? Is this just another intrusion or could we even see an eruption? This is the big question in the room, guys. I will keep you updated. If you want to learn more about what's going on in that region, if you're new to the channel, check out the playlist about what's going on in Ethiopia. It gives you all the details. I've made so many videos, but check out this video. This is live what's going on in Santorini in Greece, and I'm worried about this. So see you soon, guys. Stay safe. And if you want to support the channel, the links are in the description for my Buy Me A Coffee site. You can buy me a coffee to support my channel. Um, and thanks for the supers. Thanks for the coffees that you've already bought me. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, I see you soon, guys. Be prepared. Stay safe. Bye-bye.